Welcome back to FSC Elite's coverage from Flight Sim Expo 2025, brought to you by Meridian GMT. My name's Trevor, and I'm here with Brian from SayIntentions.ai. Brian, welcome. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for grabbing me out of the crowd there and coming back here to do something fun. This yeah, is great. we're excited to have you. You have a lot of stuff going on. You've announced some new stuff. Let's talk about you though. Let's. What's your background? How did you get started? And, and tell us about your company. <laughs> That's a great question. So uh, a little more than two years ago, We've been doing this a little while now, but um, I was working as the CTO of a good-sized healthcare company. Um, we started doing some, we were doing some really interesting things with AI there. And I've always been a flight simmer, so started kind of looking over the fence and going, hey, I wonder if, yeah, I think it could. And actually, I called my dad, who's a retired C-sharp programmer, and said, you know, I think we could build this really interesting product and it would take us only 30 days. And and I was right about the first one. We were able to build a really interesting product. It ended up taking a little longer than 30 days, a lot longer than 30 days to get it done. Um, in fact, we're still going. Uh, but uh, that was where we were born. We were at FS Expo last year, sort of showing the world uh, our first our first go at this. And we're now on round two. This is it's been a been a wild ride. Yeah. Yeah. So you mentioned this is your second FS Expo. It is. What is your favorite aspect? Is it meeting? Is it, you know, idea sharing? Is it other developers? Is it the networking? All of those things have been really valuable to us. Um, but I got to tell you, my favorite part of this is meeting our customers. When, when they walk up with that huge smile on their face, and first of all, you can go, I, you can just tell they love flight simming every bit as much as, as, as I do and as the team does, right? They're, we're all here because we're super passionate about this hobby, right? But then when they've got that extra smile and they're like, you know, thank you. And uh, I know for me, it's awesome. For my team, it's awesome because, you know, we spend, we spend all this time, you know, working support tickets and handling bugs and all this stuff. And I think sometimes we forget that our stuff is really cool. And you know, being able to interact with our customers and see their excitement and, and see how excited they are about us is a great reminder to myself and to our team that, um, that, that this is all worth it, yeah. right? That, that the end result is being received exactly the way we want it to be. Yeah. So it, yeah, we love I, it. I think a lot of us are that way, you know, just to, to, you know, we spend time at the desk on our computers and, you know, in this virtual world, but now we get to expand it to the real world and all the people, all the faces yeah, behind you, the company. We sometimes yeah. forget that that name on the screen yeah. is actually like a real person with a, with an excited personality. And, and we're, we get to come here and just geek out with each other. Oh yeah. Right. It's sure. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you've ever seen in fact, downtown Providence on a Saturday night with this crowd is probably not, nothing like a normal downtown night on a Saturday I, night. I'm so. sure it will be be spoken of for ages. <laughs> Legends right here, so, yeah. will be born of this. Exactly. Yeah. So say intentions.ai has a, a ton of, I mean, you started with kind of a focused air traffic control yep. sort of uh, AI driven air traffic control model. And you've recently started expanding that into other aspects. Can you talk about kind of where you started and now where we are and some of the new product announcements that you've had? Yeah, in fact, we started our original sort of beta release a year and a half ago was VFR US only air traffic control. Like that's where we started. And, you know, it wasn't a couple months later, we expanded to IFR, we expanded to the entire world. Um, that was fun. That was a you know, huge upgrade for everybody. But it became pretty clear to us that the air traffic control stuff, while still, you know, will and always will be our flagship product and, and the core of our focus, there were so many other things we could build around this that would, you know, bring that cockpit to life, right? In the aviation world, um, the pilot is, he, he might be, <laughs> even real life pilots, I think, feel like they're the main character, which is fine. But so that's, that's, you know, that's what we're doing here. Um, but there's this whole other, you know, cast of people around that pilot. You've got co-pilots and, 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 you know, ground crews. Um, you've got, you know, flight instructors and mentors. And, um, you know, the list just goes on and on and on of all the other people in aviation. And so we sort of, you know, said, let's bring some of that to life too and really expanded to become what we call ourselves now, which is the AI ecosystem for flight simulation. Again, ATC, always the flagship, you know, center point of, of what we're doing, but there's so many other cool things that we've been able to add around it. I mean, our cabin crew feature is enormously popular, far more than I, I thought it would be, but, but almost every flight um, we find now our customers are using that and 
tons of other stuff that they're that they're turning on and and uh, it's it's fun it's it's really cool to see uh and and, and you know if you sat in the cockpit with our stuff you, you genuinely no longer feel alone you feel like there's this whole world going on around you it's very cool yeah and i, I think one of the the things that i thought was really cool was the way that you have leveraged your community to provide localized accents, you know, different phrases. <laughs> we did, yes. For your large language model. So can you talk about that and how kind of that has come together? I can. There's a lot of stuff that we did um, that our communities helped us with over over time. In fact, one of the biggest challenges in flight simulation in general is just, you know, data, real world aviation data making its way into the cockpit can sometimes be either super expensive or in some cases we found that the data just doesn't exist. And, and for example, um, taxi routing is one of those things that's enormously complicated to solve. Uh, we solved it with um, we solved it by implementing uh, a, a crowdsourced solution to that. So um, our customers can now go in and draw out and label the taxi pass so they're correct at every airport, and which um, has been really cool. We took that even further. Uh, one of the things you mentioned was, was voices, um, regional accents that are, you know, that are really good and have the have the right cadence of an air traffic controller and the right tone and the and the sound. Um, those are tricky uh, for AI to do because it's not something that the rest of the world is super interested in. Normally, with AI voices, what they want to hear is you know the sound of a book narrator talking about the next chapter, and that sounds really weird in the cockpit, right? It sounds super strange. Yeah. Um, and so our customers are are wonderful. We have an opt in you know thing where they can say, hey, why don't you use my voice as an air traffic controller? And uh, when they, you know, sort of opt in, they get excited because they might hear themselves as, as the as ATC. But that allows us to leverage, you know, accents and the tone and the cadence and things like that. Um, we don't use all of them, but but a lot of them um, make their way into the product, which has given us this immense library of just really nice, high quality voices. Um, similar stuff with, you know, the the, the flight data um, that that we collect. Uh, all of that stuff really helps us improve the, what the AI is doing for us. Yeah, and I think you know when I was at your booth earlier, I put on the headset, was able to talk, you know, hear conversations that are going on. Right. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of you know maybe it's a misconception, maybe it's just kind of my idea of when I hear AI air traffic control or AI anything, I expect just you know that cadence that's very robotic. That wasn't the case, and oh. I think it, it, I guess oh. that's maybe a testament to how you've blended that that large language model into. Yeah. yeah, the yes, there's a, there, an immense amount of work. A lot of people say, "Oh, it's AI air traffic control." So, it, so it's ChatGPT. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's way more complicated than that. But we do use um, you know large language models as part of the AI stack. But they're one piece of a lot of different you know things that are going on. Uh, multiple AI technologies. The voices themselves are their own AI challenge, right? Because just getting the the tone and the and the cadence right that alone is, is is tricky, as you found out. But it's funny you say that that you put on the headset and went, you know, whoa, this is this is not what I was thinking because just the audio from our product is our number one best tool for getting people excited about what we're doing. We can explain it all day. I can talk about it until I'm, I'm, I'm blue in the face. It makes no difference. If I just say to somebody, here, listen, then within 30 seconds, they have that moment where they look at me and they go, that's AI? Yeah, and, and it's, it's history. They're like, where do I sign up? Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of super exciting stuff. I'm sure either you know coming out now with the, with the technology that's evolving, how it is. So yeah. I want to talk about some of your new products. Let's take a quick break first and get a word from our sponsor, and then we'll be right back with Brian from Say Intentions AI. We are Honeycomb Aeronautical. 2025 is shaping up to be our most exciting year yet, with bold new launches for the flight sim community. Discover more at flyhoneycomb.com. All right, welcome back. We've been talking with Brian from Say Intentions AI. Brian, before the break, we were talking a little bit about kind of the, your current product stack. You have just made an announcement of a couple of new products too. Can you talk about that a little bit? I can, really. Uh, two, two things that we're really excited about. The first one is um, Launchpad. Uh, one of the things that we observe, especially here at shows like FS Expo, is there's a lot of guys walking around with some really good ideas. In fact, you guys have seen this before, right? Like a new developer comes forward, really cool idea, big announcement, and then for a variety of reasons, um, you know, it never quite gets across the finish line, whether that's, uh, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of reasons that that can happen. And uh, Launchpad is actually designed to help solve that problem. Um, we're here now to say, if you've got a great idea, and you're not sure how to get it across the finish line, come to us 
and we'll provide whatever it is you think you're needing in order to to, to bring it to life. So if you need marketing assistance, we, we, we can help you with that. If you need um, um, access to engineering resources or you just need some guidance, we can help you with that. Uh, if, even if you need money, if you're like, look, this is never gonna get off the ground unless I can get you know some funding, come talk to us. Uh, so that's Launchpad. I'm really excited about it. We've made um, we've made a lot of really interesting um, connections here at the event um, as a result of that announcement. So, you know, we'll, we'll, it's a great name for what it does. We'll it see exactly what you're doing. Yes, yeah. thank you. So we'll see what comes there. So sort of a, uh, a, a, a Kickstarter is the wrong word, but a, a you know a, a way to get these guys some help yeah. um, with with new ideas. So that's Launchpad. Super excited about that one. The second one um, that I mean maybe maybe more excited about is Pocket Sky. Um, and uh, when we made that announcement, I sort of joked on stage uh, that this was um, yeah, a feature inspired by my wife. Uh, no, but a lot of guys, uh, well, you know, they like to start a flight, uh, long flight, um, whether it's, you know, transatlantic or, you know, whatever it may be. But you got, you know, 10, 15 hours in the air and, you know, nobody wants to sit at their computer for 10 or 15 hours. But when you've got air traffic control and cabin crews and passengers and all this, these moving parts now that we're all so excited about, right? Well, what happens on this long flight if you can't be there to babysit it? So we actually launched a mobile app called Pocket Sky, now available on Apple Store and Google Play. And you download it and you can actually monitor your flight status from anywhere. You don't have to be on the home network. Uh, but also, if ATC is trying to talk to you or your cabin crews are trying to talk to you, you'll actually get a push notification directly to your device. And we promise it's very discreet so that your your wife won't notice as you peek under the table at dinner <laughs> and uh, and quickly respond to ATC or maybe tell the cabin the crew that everything's right? okay. <laughs> right. So, uh, no, I'm, I'm really excited about this feature because now you can actually take your flight with you monitor it um and again all of the all of the comms and everything come via push notification it's a really really cool add-on and uh, that's actually available um now we launched it here yeah. so yeah it's out that's yeah it's uh, you know we've we've seen the screenshots of it it looks like it's going to be something that again you know very useful we've all been there yes, all had those yes. Things. Um, now maybe the spouse is interrupting date night we'll yeah. see yeah. i explained it to my wife and she's like you need it for what now yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> Um, can you talk a little bit about your pricing model? I know it's uh, you have different tiers that you uh, have for subscriptions. We have a bunch of different things that we've done because you know we we hear the community say you know it, 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 whatever the price would be, it's always too expensive, right? Got it. So we're we're always trying to address that. Um, the, the the price for our base product, our, our real flagship product, which we call our Say Intentions AI premium subscription. Um, we're at $20 a month. We have an annual that's, I, I want to say, $195 for the annual, so it saves you a little bit of money there. Uh, and, and everybody always asks, what, why, why a subscription? Why do you have to do that? And the answer is because every time you use our stuff, whether we're generating voices or AI or anything like that, the meter is running, right? And so we have actual you know, costs associated with the operation of this platform. In fact, um, my wife even knows what day it is. I have to go pay all the bills because there's a little tear that forms in my eye uh, as, uh, as I'm like, wow, this platform is crazy expensive to operate. Uh, one of the things we've done to try to make it more affordable is to come up with some different um, product tiers. So for example, we broke out uh, the cabin crews um, and a few of the other you know, AI characters, ramp agents, and things like that into another product called Entourage that's available for a one-time fee. That was something, you know, people really, really wanted. So we were able to figure out, you know, how to price that in a way to do that. We also have a new product that we um, uh, recently launched. It's still in beta. Uh, will be for a while because we want to get it right, but it's called Open Sky, and it's actually a free version of our ATC. Um, I'm really excited about that one because it's still AI. It has um, some, it still has pretty good voices. Um, and you know we were able to sort of narrow down the ATC feature set. It's really pretty close to the other stuff you can get out there as far as ATC add-ons right now, but it's it's completely free. And, yeah. and uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that one. So we're always looking for ways to bring our stuff to market in an economical way for the for the whole community. Yeah, and and it seems like your approach is is very considerate of of that market. We're, we're trying. So yeah, we're really trying. So speaking of the the air traffic control aspects of it, uh, you know, there's there's free networks, there's pay networks, there's all these different ways of getting air traffic control. You know, do you see kind of a coexistence there? Do you see a future? You know, what, what is your kind of your yeah. vision when it comes to your product and how it might play well with others? I, I love this question because this is something we're we're really passionate about is is trying to create, you know, sort of a uh, an end-to-end -end flight experience where, where, where no matter where you are in, in your flight, 
you're getting the best possible um, ATC service available, right? So if there's a if there's coverage available from one of the human ATC networks, that's really where you should be. Like, we'll never be as good as the human networks, right? Um, when there's when that coverage is no longer available, then you know we'll we'll supplement it with our our awesome AI ATC service. But the our goal, our vision is to get to a point um, where that end-to-end -end flight is seamless. Like we want you to be able to take off in you know whatever the best possible coverage is, switch to ours, and 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 end with whatever the best possible coverage is. And we want that to be smooth and seamless and, and we don't want the pilot to have to think about it um, as that's going on. So we're, we're, we've got some of that already. Um, and uh, uh, I, I love the stuff that we have already. Our customers rave about it. Um, we want more and we're looking forward to um, making that stuff better as well. That's great. I, th I think it's a great note to end on too. It's just, yeah. there's so much exciting stuff coming up and we really appreciate your time, Brian. Uh, thanks for sitting down with us and, and yeah, thank, through. Thanks so much. Thanks for these, grabbing me. Yeah, there's so much exciting stuff. Yeah, so, thank you. Great. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Trevor with FSC Lead. We are Honeycomb Aeronautical. We build flight controls that bring the sky within reach. This year, we're excited to bring you the all new Foxtrot Aviation Stick, the precision engineered Sierra TPM module, and our new light range for entry level simmers. Plus, here's a sneak peek of our upcoming Foxtrot takeoff kit an Echo Aviation Controller. Discover more at flyhoneycomb.com. Thanks for watching. If you want more of our coverage of Flight Sim Expo 2025, click on these videos.